Welcome back guys, again Seb from Hunter and Travel Investments. Um, gonna bring you another episode here. So this is my half bathroom toilet. Um, it doesn't flush fully all the way. It, you kind of almost have to hold the handle down. You can comment below what the problem is. But I decided just to go with the universal flush valve. So I'm gonna go with this. This is from Lowe's. I think it's like, I don't know. Under 10 bucks, around 10 bucks for this. It's universal. So I just unplug that. What you want to do is when you do this, you want to shut off the water. Let me get some lighting for you in here. So shut off the main valve water, shut that off. Um, flush it. I took the handle just because it's easy to um, maneuver around. Flush it, get all the water out of it. Oh, yeah, some water still in there, but no matter who will work on the tank, not the bowl. So I have well water. Uh, you can also comment on this. Water likes to leave a lot of sediments, you can see. So I, I just flushed it, I took it out. So it's a, it kind of sits right there, the flush valve. And when you unscrew it, it's just a hand tighten. So you don't want to ever want to over tighten these are porcelain, so you don't ever want to over tighten them. So that sticks down there and connects to this here. So here's the old one. The bottom of the screws in like that, like so. So this is a what kind of is this cork? Yeah, looks like cork. Let me zoom on that. Corky yet. And I'm just gonna replace that. Let's see if that does the trick. Let me know. Alright, let me keep the video rolling. I got a new uh, Manfrotto uh, handheld tripod. Let's see if this will work. Let's see if I can flip it this way. I think that'll work. Alright, let's see if we get some work done here. Alright, guys, here we go. So we'll clean that up. We'll clean that out with some tissue. Some gloves. Again, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, you subscribe to the channel, makes this channel, channel grow. And comment below what you think the problem might be, but I'm just going to replace the. Oh, let's see if you can see me instead of just my head. Yeah, yeah, right about there. Let's see what the problem could be. Said so when I flush it, it um. It's a fully one one flush. I have to almost hold the handle. Before it wasn't used to do it, wasn't doing that. So we'll see. And this bowl is probably about to go. As you can see here, the cracks in it. See down here. It's a crack right there. But no matter. We'll just fix this for now. It's just temporary. You know, way too many busy things to do. So and clean it up nice, nice. Yeah, you gotta hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share. If you're interested in wholesaling uh, for properties, distressed properties, use my link below, my affiliate link with uh, PropStream. Those guys are awesome people. Burton, you the man. And if you ever have uh, things that you wanna order from Amazon, I have also affiliate link down below. Use that, and like I said, all these links help support the channel, helps it to grow. I appreciate it. That looks pretty good. Let me see. Yeah, looks pretty decent. Grab some paper towels. I'm gonna look at the new one. So the new one. Let me this up a little bit. Yeah, you guys want this tripod here, it's funny by me and Frodo. Good tripod. So this sits right here. And these screws here. There's a screw for this. So this probably goes up and down. Like so. I would imagine. 
Mm. Yep. So let's get with that. Get this piece here. Let's cut that bad boy open. You know, it should be a rubber gasket in. You don't see me to seal, you don't need to teflon, teflon this stuff. It's pretty self sealed. You don't go crazy, it should self seal. So, judging by the old one I looked at, it looks like they had it this way. So, like that. So, the rubber gasket goes in first, pointing downward, so that way this sits into the recess of the, uh, the bowl. Let me get that on it. goes in like this. So it's going to screw it to the bowl. Okay. Get the idea. Let's put this together. Now, I don't know what this is for. You guys may make a comment below. It's this uh, valve on the side of it does. Maybe it's an excess valve. I don't know. Let's see. Let's put this in there. That should be it. Um, I need the book. I need to read the book. It's called, what's it called? A fill valve? Yeah, I don't know. It's made it hard. You take your working cars, see if you can take the old one out, put it in the way. Let's take a look. So, let's bring that closer. So this must go like so. I don't know which direction it goes, but I'm assuming it goes this way. With the roller toward the tank. Let me know. Comment below. We're gonna connect this part first. This clips into the top of this. That's all it does. These are pretty, you can do it with your hand. It's plastic. I think everything that's sealed will be sealed in here. Actually, you know, yeah, let's weigh on that. Let's set that aside. Let's put this in first. So it's going to go in like so. I'll screw it from the bottom. Thing to know when you guys drain the tank, you shut off the shut off valve, put a little bucket underneath there because it's gonna catch all the drippage. That we were drippage. Yeah. Sorry you don't see the top of my head right now. We'll get you there. So that's first things worth let's tighten that up. So let's bring you down there. I'm looking at it. So, there's okay, a shuttle valve on the top. Let's see if we can get you in there. It's right about there. See it, guys. So, that's going to go in like that. So, let's go back to the top. Pro tip, you want to put the 
lift this up first and then insert it into the uh, bottom. So basically I'm saying lift this up. Uh, so between here, lift this up. So bring this into here. So that way it's easy to screw. So a little pro tip. Let's see, I'm lifting it up. Then let's screw into that white piece that I showed you earlier. valve from the wall actually has gasket also so you don't need no silicone or teflon tape all these things self seal so i'm going to hand tighten this because i want to know where to put this spigot for this excess piece here it's not going to go too crazy yet and i gotta change the flap on that flush so that's okay that it's snug now let's figure out my spigot. You can see that? So that's what it looks like. Pretty easy, right? Screw it screw back in. Let's do it I think it goes like this. Yeah. some muscle but I think it's in I think it's much to push in it is just a rubber rubber and plastic clip so let's do this part so I think it goes like this Clamp on so it goes like that. Just clamp in. That's what it's supposed to do. That's what it's worth. Not really doing much. It's not like a hose clamp, you know. Same goes here. I put the camera down. Sorry. clips on like that. See, that separates part. Uh, black and black doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna wear gloves next time I guess. And see how that sticks up? I don't like that. Hmm. <laughs> Scissors, we'll cut that up. Oh man, it's stuck up. I'm gonna cut it anyway, so guess what? Let me turn the knife and trim this back a little bit. See how, because this was sticking up, so when you put the lid on, it's actually gonna bump against it, so I don't want that. Let's peel this back. A slit. There it is. Let's determine how far we want to get.
now. I'm going to pull out the old one. Let's see pair it. Maybe that's all I need. Instead of going crazy. Maybe all I need is to day to day. This is the old one. You can see. I'm going to pair it to the new one. I'm going to stick the pair of scissors uh, right about there. Sounds about right. Yeah. Easy peasy. All right, now back to what I was doing. That's that piece. There it is. That goes in there. Like so. The clip back. Here's the clip. It's plastic. It doesn't really do anything. It's not like a hose clamp like I mentioned earlier. Put the clip. I'm to get your clips back in here. A little better. Hmm. Still stick it up, see you guys? But let's try on the lid. The lid fits, then we don't have to trim it that much anymore. We be good to go. Yeah. The lid fits fine. We'll leave it alone. Leave it alone. So now this what it looks like. So bring them so the clip goes in here, like that. Put it there. Goes in there. I'm getting tight all this because I wanted to make sure this fits perfectly. So then I gotta change that flat down there. Okay, the new flap. There it is. This came with a kit, so perfectly there. They should match up perfectly. Take a look. Looks like it's a C lock, so it should do the same down there to come out. Make sure I know this is a hole, not a C lock. Take off the card piece of cardboard cup cardboard paper that comes off. Here's a latch for the for the handle. We'll do that in a minute. It should click right in. There it is. There it is. You can hear a click. Now the seating is kind of off though. It's gonna leak. It's gonna leak. Oh man. I'll have to keep the old one. It's, it's lifting off. Let me show you guys. Yeah, it's not sealed perfect. You can tell it's flappy. The water's gonna keep running if you do that. I don't think any pressure is gonna help it. Kind of bounce it a little bit. Tell you what, let's put the oven back. See that helps. Now I'm gonna run to the store and get a new one. At least you know, guys, know how to take this out. Pop this also off back in. Since I'm gonna keep the old one, set that aside. I'm gonna clean the, the lip on this. Make sure it's nice and clean. Yeah, it's kind of strange, huh? It didn't sit right. So, let's take the old one back. Here's the old one. This is by Toto. T-O. T-O. Two, two, right? Yeah, yeah, two. Let's go so clean this off and put it back. Alright, let me clean this nice and good.
So contrary to what we know, this is actually, because this is a handle, you have to go the opposite. It's not lefty loosey, righty tighty. So it's, you'll see in a minute. I'm actually tighten it, which actually is loosening it, if that makes sense. So, so we're going to go lefty loosey to tighten it, get it? Because this moves in the opposite direction, so you don't want it to come loose while you're flushing. See that? See the difference? So this is going down, which is lefty loosey, so you have to go the opposite, righty tighty on this side. I mean, uh, lefty loosey on this side. Same thing snug, these are porcelain, you want to crack it. It's pretty snug there. And I'll bring this up. So, I think we're on this one. Different measurements there. Just make sure. Yeah. That actually looks pretty good, so we're gonna... Actually, we can go this way. Oh, that's too much strain. Look at that. That's a lot of strain. I might pull in the chain to keep the water flowing rather than get it stuck. Got to measure too when this flips up. High, how high the lid would be. So I'm guessing. Bring it down a little bit. So there's grooves in these handles, I'm trying to find the right amount of leverage for a perfect flush. Yeah, perfect flush. That's a joke, guys. Oh, you got that. Perfect flush. Let me see. That's kind of high. See that? That's kind of lifting off the lid. So the lid will stop here. Let's see. I can adjust that a little bit more. This and uh, this this is regular, so righty tidy on this. All finger touch, all this stuff. I'm gonna do a cool crazy like. in the lid. Make this better. Let's try that. down the chain a little bit. So the chain has links, so I'm going to move down these chain links. It's basically shorten it, that's what I'm doing. Shorten the travel distance. I 
like it. Let's see how the lid works. Yeah, let's do it. That should be good. So let's double check that's on. That's on. This is tight. This is tight. It seems to work. This is not correct. Right. Yeah. All right, guys. Let's turn it on. So it looks like completed, flaps on, clean everything up. Let's see, let's turn it on. Let's let the water in. I'm going to turn this valve on right here. Here we go. So I guess that's what that spigot is for. The bottom of the second, I think, so oh, that's still that can still be. I can't come without that query, tell me. Alright, final well, truth, here we go. Yes, guys. All right, then again, my name is Seb from Hunter and Child Investments. Helping you save money, you in real estate, fixing cars, um, after you save, put stuff on your house, save you tons of money. Um, go ahead and subscribe button. Really appreciate it. Uh, I'll bring more videos. House, we'll work on the, uh, the things in the house and we'll work on my finances too. But I promise you, this is a finance channel, so I'll, check, I'll show you what I've gone through. Uh, taxes, so we're just getting the taxes. All right, I'll see you in the next video.